A local drive-in had a special showing for Jaws' 45th anniversary, so I just had to go. But I noticed something different this time seeing it on a big screen. Before they go out to sea, Quint has someone who follows him around. Who is this guy? His first mate? Quint's friend? Or maybe his lover? Well, join me as we ask, who is this guy in Jaws? First things first, what's his name? Well, it took some digging, but eventually I found out that Herschel West plays Salvatore. But at least on IMDb, that's all the info we're going to get. I skimmed through the book by Peter Benchley, and there's no mention of a guy named Salvatore. But Quint does say he lost his mate. Brody asks what happened, and Quint says he lost his nerves and quit. Now that could be our guy, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll have to look at some other options. Quint does seem to be the kind of guy that keeps to himself. He does his job, and he does it well, but he certainly isn't what you would call friendly. So I doubt Salvatore is just his friend. So that leaves Lover. Could it be that Quint is gay? Well, I doubt it. In the book, Brody does ask Quint about his wife, and he says flatly, got no wife, never saw a need for one. In the movie, Quint mentions he entered an arm wrestling competition and was celebrating his third wife's demise, but honestly, that sounds more like a joke. So that just leaves first mate. And luckily, there's a great interview on YouTube that I'll link in the description by Time Access Media that sheds some more light on Salvatore. He asked me if I'd take a speaking part with a dog, so I said yes, so that's how I got in it. And I was Quint's mate after that. So there it is. He was Quint's hired help, his first mate. And if that's not enough evidence for you, there's a deleted scene where Salvatore says he's not going out on that boat with him, and he quits. It's pretty cool that you can still find these small things in a movie that you've watched over and over again. It's also pretty cool that they hired real fishermen for the movie. It gives it a more authentic feel. Jaws has undoubtedly gone down in history as the best shark movie, and it deserves it. It spawns so many rip-offs and tributes that it's hard to keep track of them all. But one series stands out to me from the rest. Join me over the next couple weeks as we watch all the Piranha movies. <laughs>